In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about navigating around a board and end with some final techniques that will make navigation really simple. There are two main navigation modes, mouse and trackpad, with touch screen also being available for touch devices like smartphones and tablets. The correct mode should be detected automatically for you, but if it's not, you can manually switch in the board settings. Using a trackpad is fairly natural for most users. Move through the board by sliding two fingers across the trackpad and zoom in and out through pinching. If you want a bit more control when zooming, you can hold command or control and slide your two fingers across the trackpad. For a reminder of the available gestures, you can again go to the board settings. Now let's talk about mouse navigation. When using a mouse, find a blank area of the board and click and hold the left mouse button and drag. Notice that the cursor changes to a hand. We'll talk about that later. The same gesture is used when you'd like to move objects around the board. Click and hold the left mouse button and drag. Sometimes though, you'll want to navigate around the board without changing anything in it. For that, we'll use this icon at the top of your toolbar to switch to the hand tool. This is a sort of view-only mode where you can grab anywhere on the board without affecting content. To switch back to the Select tool, click the button again. The easiest way to switch between the Select and the Hand tools is to hold Spacebar on your keyboard. This will enable the Hand tool until you release the Spacebar. Now that we've covered the basics, let's quickly go through some final techniques with frames, zooming, and the map to really make navigating easy. If a board contains frames, you can access the frames list to quickly move through different sections of the board. Frames become particularly important when you're dealing with a larger board, so taking advantage of them when creating content will pay dividends later on. When it comes to zooming, your current zoom percentage is displayed for you, and if you click it, it will zoom you into 100%. There is another handy option called Fit to Screen as well. This will bring you to a zoom level in which you can see everything in the board. Last but not least is the map. You can toggle the map display by clicking on its icon or pressing M on your keyboard. It can be a great way to get around a board and jump between sections you're working on. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.